At this time, we want to know more about the inheritance between objects. And we want to make prefabs for making a template and patterns of our objects for using the next time without making them from scratch. In the last step, we learned how we can uh, create a C sharp script and what is the the main uh, structure of the C sharp script in the Unity and what 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 were the uh, variables in C sharp and how we can define them and also what were the uh, main uh, functions in C sharp scripting in Unity. But before going to the next step of the C sharp programming, in this step, I want to talk about a very important point in the Unity, and it's called inheritance uh, between objects. Let's go back to the our sample scene. For example, uh, in this scene, we have an object it's called cube uh, 0 1 and I put it the position 0 0 0 okay and we have another one right click duplicate or control D for duplicate an object and we call it object cube 2 and we call another one cube 3 okay I wanna uh, or even another object it doesn't matter what is it exactly it's not only the cubes perfect okay I wanna move all of these uh, objects, these four objects, to somewhere else. I have two solutions. Uh, the first solution is I can select all of them by hold the left control and click on each one, then move it to anywhere I want. Okay. Uh, but if I want to change uh, any specific uh, variable of this transform or of or anything else, I have to do it separately for each one. Uh, but we have another solution, and we can create an empty object. It's called uh, object objects group and we can put this object group it is an empty object in here in middle of them perfect now we can add all of these objects as a children of this empty object so we have an object it's called object groups and ingredients of this objects group are a cube 1 cube 2 cube 3 and sphere 4 so if i want to move this group a uh, group of objects i need to click on uh, objects group then move it or rotate it or change the scale or hide and show or change the tag or change the layer or anything else even I can uh, attach any script to this objects group then any functions of uh, this objects group will work for all of these objects because uh, the parent of these objects is objects group for example, uh, in the script, 
we create another C sharp script and we call objects group. Then attach this uh, script to the object objects group. Ah, oh, we need to wait for the compiling finish. Uh, in here you can see the circle. Ah, oh, it's done. Drag and drop our script to the objects group in here. And now let's to open it and go to the Visual Studio. And then we want to uh, uh, write a new uh, function in the void for void update. Uh, for example, we uh, initially we need to define another uh, float variable. It's called size x and another one public float or integer oh, sorry uh, position z okay now I wanna write another uh, commonly uh, function in the void update it's called uh, how we can change the scale of the object uh, in the script uh, our object in fact is transform because we want to change the component of transform we can call this fun and this a script and this component directly because the transform component is from the unity engine library so we can call it transform dot local scale equal new vector tree uh, position as a x equal size x in here then one and comma one so uh, our uh, object uh, will get the size of the x parameter from this variable and the parameter y and parameter z uh, will be one all the time and also we have another one it's called transform dot translate it is for the movement of the object this is another types of object and we say uh, zero oh, oh we don't want to move in the uh, 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 angle x and uh, we don't need to move in angle Y, but we want to move in angle Z. So we will put our variable in here. Let's see what will happen for our parent. As you can see in the inspector, we have uh, two parameters, size X and position Z. And uh, so let's to put another number, it's called 2, and let's to put a number in here uh, for a position. It's called, for example, I don't know, 1. It's try to go to the uh, uh, angle Z ev uh, 1 meter every per frame. So we will, it will go to this angle forever permanently let's play as you can see it moves very fast look at this the position Z is going up okay now we can change the uh, integer to float then come back here and uh, let's change the number of position Z to 0 0.01 so it will be so slow so change the main camera to here okay let's 
Let's stop and check the variables. Okay, the uh, the size of x equal two because we in here we added two and the y and z is one and the position z is going to uh, zero point zero one plus. Oh, sorry. Look at this. If we add five, it will be like this. One will be like this, and zero point five, it will be like this. Okay. So our script works for all the objects uh, as a child's of this parent. If we put another object outside of this parent, uh, this script will not work for that because it will be as a separated object in here. Okay, we put this one to here. All right. Uh, it is the um, basic and definition for inheritance of uh, objects and children and parents and so it is very important for example in here we can say uh, this house uh, this car and this house and, and this particular system and this cylinder sphere and cube and all the lights can be children of train. Perfect. Look at this. So we can move them easily. All right. As you can see, we can manage the objects in our uh, hierarchy with this solution for example we can create some uh, some empty objects in here for example lights then add all lights in our scene to the lights then put the lights inside of the train in here it will be so organized and uh, it's better to find for us. Okay. Uh, another definition and very important uh, option of the Unity it's called prefab. For example, you can imagine uh, it is our object objects group. It already has box glider and we can change the scale of it to 2, 5 and 1 or I don't know 6 something like that and also it has rigid body and rigid body is, is kinematic and also it has a uh, objects group script with the two specific parameters okay but uh, we wanna add it uh, to our scene not now not in the first moment of scene play maybe in the future maybe in the another scene maybe another uh, level or even we want to instantiate them uh, to the scene such as I don't know uh, rains or um, um, fire splash or something like this so in the first moment uh, we don't have them but in the specific moment of our scene we want to add them to our scene by a script anyway we need to have a um, something like um, a template pre-made the template of our object but with the specific numbers we have added to it so uh, the target is save all of these parameters and these components with this object and in somewhere and we can use it uh, in the future. Uh, the name of this technique is 
making the prefab. In here, we can create any folder we call, I don't know, prefabs with any name. And in here, we can drag and drop our object to this folder. Unity Engine tries to make a prefab of this object's group uh, as a um, prefab automatically. So, as you can see, our object's group right now is blue. It is not white. It is the difference between prefabs or ordinary objects. Uh, the prefabs uh, needs, uh, can be instantiated at any time we want, but if we want to change them, change any variable of it, uh, it will be local, not save in here. If we want to use it, we, we need to save it in, in here. For example, I want to add another objects group in here or by control D or drag and drop our prefab to our scene. So, as you can see, we have another objects group in here with exactly the same parameters. So we can remove all of objects group from our scene and let's go to the scene level one, then come back to the prefabs and drag and drop our prefabs here. As you can see, it is the same objects with the same uh, children and uh, the parameters are the same. We can instantiate any uh, numbers of our prefab. Perfect. But uh, remember, if you want to change the parameter uh, from um, this prefab uh, and you want to change it in uh, you want to see the changes uh, in another uh, prefabs and another scenes you have to double click to here to go to the prefab editor then you can change any parameters in here then after that uh, once you instantiate another new prefabs you will see the new parameters you have added in here to that new prefab but uh, for example if we remove this one and change the parameter i don't know size x to 5 45 i don't know and also 23 32 <laughs> something like this and it's kinematic off once you drag and drop a prefab in here, the new prefab is still the previous parameters. But once you double click in here and go to the prefab editor and change the parameter in here and control S, the saving in the prefab editor is automatically. Make sure you, if you want to come back to the scene, press this back button, then drag and drop your prefab inside of your scene. As you can see, the new parameters appears, so they are available able to use. Okay, it is the very important uh, solution for instantiate uh, uh, rapidly objects, and uh, you can use this technique for design uh, any conditions, any objects or any uh, functions for your simulator or your application. Okay, let's go to the next step.